Hello, Rays. KJ here. We are in day 21 of the Lori Daybell trial. But there's not too much going on today, folks. So there is the jury instructions that will be uh, put together by the state and the defense along with Judge Boyce's administration. But KJ wants to spend just a little time with you today. I don't know, getting ready for the verdict. How about it, y'all? We're gonna have closing arguments tomorrow. Then the verdict, it's gonna be live streamed. So KJ wants to do something special today for the Rays. I am going to be making a very simple recipe that I believe the Rays on here are all gonna enjoy. It's called Grandmama's Blackberry Cobbler. Now, step back here. I got Mary, my, my good buddy Mary. We're gonna start off with a cast iron skillet. Now, some of y'all don't have one. Y'all better get you one. Cause these dang things, they do it to it. Now, I'm gonna take my 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 uh, cast iron skillet here. And hey, my hands are clean, but I'm an old country girl. I'm gonna take a little leftover bacon grease, y'all. And I'm gonna just spread that in there real good. Some good old fashioned bacon grease. You know, in this day and time, you get every damn thing prepackaged and all that. Well, I'm telling you what, y'all, this is the real way to cook, all right? So you just put a thin layer in there and you stick it in the oven and let that thing, let that, that thing season some. You'll put your oven on 400 degrees, all right? Now stick that bad boy in there. Now let's come on over here. We're gonna make this grandmama's blackberry cobbler. We're gonna take one cup of self rising flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of whole milk, and we're going to stir that on around in there. I'm making a mess already. You ain't making a mess, y'all. You ain't got shit, all right? So we're gonna get that. We're gonna stir that up real good. And as we stir it, make sure to get all the lumps out. And when you're done with it, you let it sit for a minute so that thing will thicken a little bit, all right? Now, some of y'all wanna use fresh blackberries but old KJ likes a, spe a specific type of blackberry. It's Oregon blackberries, y'all. Now, you can get a can of blackberries, you can use fresh, whatever you wanna do. But let me just be clear with you. If you're gonna use fresh blackberries, you got to, first of all, you gotta wash them real good, and get all that you know, squared away. Then you add just a little bit of sugar to them and let them sit for about an hour, okay? Because I'm telling you, whether they're wild blackberries, whether they're tame blackberries, they're not gonna have that sweetness to it. Now, I know I put a cup of sugar in here, but let me tell you folks, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, and one cup of whole milk. So I'll take your blackberry can there, and uh, you know, they come with some extra juice in them, you know? So the first thing you wanna do is take a little bit of that juice out. So I'm gonna pour some of that juice out. They'll leave a little bit, maybe, you know, about a quarter of a can of the juice. And there you go. Let me let me show you what that looks like. And you sit that right there. Now, let's, let's get back to this. Now, usually you'll let that sit in there for about five or 10 minutes, but my uh, pan was already seasoned. I was just trying to let y'all know my methods. So we'll take that back out. When you take it back out, you're gonna see a little line of it. You're gonna see a little line of that uh, bacon grease in there. You'll just take your paper towel and you'll just rub it around in there. Make sure to get all the excess. You don't want really nothing left, but just the shininess of the cast iron skillet, all right? Next thing you'll do, you'll stick it back in there. Folks, you got me down here, Mary? Mm-hmm. You, you take a whole, a whole eight teaspoons. That's a whole stick of salted butter. Yes, grandmama loved that unhealthy stuff. We'll put it in there. We'll let that 
stay in this 400 degrees and we'll let that melt down. Now, while we're waiting for that to melt down, y'all, these jury instructions are gonna be very important. Um, the defense would want certain wording to, I would believe, uh, would make it kind of hard for the jury members to really want to convict their damn client, their hussy. The state wants it to be kind of simple. More, uh, you know, the definitions of, of what these crimes are and all of that. So they're going to put all that together. And I think the ways y'all do recall, we talked about jury instructions. They have um, these formatted jury instructions through the state of Idaho's criminal code that you can look up online. All you have to do is type in Idaho criminal jury instructions and they'll pop right up. You can get some idea of what it is that, you know, you know that they're going to put together. They're not gonna veer from that per se. Also, oh, I've learned that it, they're going to probably be doing a lot of this this afternoon. As many of y'all know, according to Nate Eaton, he posted a bid on East Idaho News. Larry K. Woodcock yesterday, uh, Larry was feeling ill uh, in the afternoon, and um, the EMTs came to the courthouse, and um, they, he's okay. Everything's fine. He just needed to rest. K. released a statement saying, that she loved everyone, she um, was thankful for all the support, but the, but yesterday they were going to go back to their room and they were going to rest, that Larry was gonna take a nap. Today they were gonna rest up some more, but she says jury instructions ain't really gonna be talked about till this afternoon. Once that's together, tomorrow we have what y'all? We've got the closing arguments. And uh, some of y'all have been wondering who's going to give it. Is it going to be, uh, for the state, is it going to be Lindsey Blake again? She did the opening statements. Is it going to be Rob Wood? Or would it be uh, Rachel Smith? Or this Spencer Ramel? I'm guessing Lindsey Blake. She's very well spoken. I think she did an excellent job on opening statements. I think she's going to do a really good do uh, job. She's going to tie things in. Remember, opening statements and closing statements are not evidence. It's just kind of like a, a way for uh, the state to kind of narrate their, their whole case. So now that all of the evidence has been presented, she's going to tie it all together, y'all. The defense attorney, Archie, as y'all recall, in opening statements, uh, he talked more about himself and basically, you know, the taxpayers of Idaho have put me here and, you know, I've done a lot of work and all that. He never really said anything about what their defensive posture was, at least not from my point of view. Uh, so who knows? I, I'm, I'm assuming, y'all, I'm assuming that Archie's going to get up there or John Thomas. I believe it will be Archibald, though, perhaps because he is the lead defense attorney. And he's probably going to say none of this should have ever gotten to this at all, that Lori was a good mother, that she didn't know that all this was going to happen, um, that Chad had her so uh, sucker punched, basically, had her so sucked in that um, she just believed it. Well, folks, here's the bottom line. You can believe whatever the hell you want to believe, but when it comes to murdering children and innocent life, such as Tammy and Charles Vallow, uh, it just goes right out the window. So what I'm trying to say is, is that the only defense that they can say other than uh, they will say that the state has not proven their case, they might in the closing statement talk about all the, the points they made throughout the state's case in chief about, uh, you know, the little things they got, you know, where some of the witnesses were like, it's possible, you know, it's possible for this, it's possible for that. Um, they'll probably bring some of that out, some of their points. I'm sure throughout the whole state's case, anytime they got some brownie points there, they wrote it down to put toward their closing argument. Ultimately, what it comes down to, y'all, is there is no defense for what that hussy did. 
And we also saw, and you can, for those that didn't see it, there is a video out online of them serving Lori in her, in her uh, turquoise bikini. Uh, she's laying out by the pool in Hawaii while her children are murdered and dead in Chad's backyard. Uh, that right there uh, sent my blood pressure up a couple of notches. Ultimately, y'all, the verdict is going to be live stream. We're going to get to see it. Nate Eaton says that uh, it's not going to be East Idaho News' cameras, so they're not going to get some kind of way to do things perfectly that where we can see Lori right in her face, but uh, the court will provide a feed to the news outlets. Uh, with that said, okay, Jay, it will not be going on a pre-record or live stream tomorrow for closing arguments or the verdicts in honor of the victim's family members. This will be their day tomorrow. This will be their day during the verdict, okay? I'm putting my own self aside and everyone else should to look toward the victim's family members. We're all gonna be either going on East Idaho News or other news organizations, but KJ is taking a step back from it. Um, the bottom line is, is the victim's family members deserve our, my undivided attention. Now let's get back. We're gonna get back here. We see, now I need y'all to look. I need y'all to look. Around the edging of the butter, it's starting to turn a light golden brown. That's when you add, that's when you add your flour, sugar, and milk mixture. You put it right in the center. Alright. Then you, you start with the little juice that's in there and you start moving that bad boy around. You know, temperatures in ovens vary. But I've gotten mine down to a science in this oven. 400 degrees at 20 minutes exactly. If you wanna know it's done you um, and, and you're not sure, you need to go and when the breading starts to form, you need to make sure that it's at least in there 20 minutes at 400 degrees. So when it comes out, you're gonna wanna slap your mama you're gonna eat it, you're gonna enjoy it, have it with a scoop of uh, vanilla ice cream. Ray's, I love you. We'll get back together. You know how things are gonna end. So keep on looking.